Hello native plant enthusiasts. My name is Chelsea Hall and I'm an internship here from Arizona State University uh, hoping to learn more about the glorious tree of life and how they raise such amazing container natives. But I'm also looking to study some of your solitary bees that you have here in California. What's a solitary bee you might ask? Well here uh, in California we have 1600 different native solitary bee species and what this means is that they don't uh, form hives or make honey although some of them will nest communally. Uh, typically one female will find either a hole in the ground or um, a crevice to dwell in and they will put in pollen, lay their eggs, sometimes in chambers, multiples, and then seal it off and let nature take its course. Um, solitary bees, although they don't give us honey, are very important pollinators both to our native landscapes as well as to agronomic crops. Um, so I'm hoping to study what right now is good uh, pollen plants, flowering plants that we can add to our landscapes to help them out because there's been a decrease in bee populations. So here I have a very simple layout of a bee post that you could make in your own backyard that I'm going to utilize to try and study what pollen they're using this time of year. And also if there's some kind of color preference um, that we can help attract them to our gardens um, and create better, healthier native ecosystems. Stay tuned to find out who moves in.